Hello everyone myself Dr Parth Goswami and today I am going to teach you about a Wim Silverman liver biopsy needle I will make you familiar with this Wim Silverman liver biopsy needle which can be asked in the MCQ or in your practical viva exam Now before understanding about this needle first let's understand what is liver biopsy liver biopsy concept then we will try to discuss important aspects of liver biopsy right So first of all friend what do we mean by liver biopsy for which this needle is used so liver biopsy is a procedure in which a small piece of liver tissue is removed and then we will examine it microscopically the microscopic examination done to determine the cause and severity of the liver disease so we can diagnose the different liver diseases and we can assess the severity as well now who performed the liver biopsy first in the past so friends the paul ehrlich scientist performed the first percutaneous liver biopsy in the 1883 in the germany now who can perform the liver biopsy so obviously the answer is those those two those clinician who have done the mbbs or ms surgery can take the liver biopsy gastroenterologist also can perform the liver biopsy and obviously an hepatologist can perform a liver biopsy so a registered medical practitioner doctor can perform the liver biopsy all right now which are the methods of liver biopsy which can be the different methods so basically there are five methods of taking the liver biopsy the first one is percutaneous blind liver biopsy then second percutaneous ultrasonography or ct scan guided liver biopsy which is better than blind biopsy right and third one is percutaneous plugged liver biopsy here percutaneous means we are removing the we are inserting the needle through the skin right fourth one is transjugular liver biopsy in which we are taking biopsy through a transvenous route and fifth one is laparoscopic liver biopsy in which we are performing the laparoscopy and then doing the liver biopsy all right now which are the types of liver biopsy needles there are variety of liver biopsy needles available so basically there are three main type of liver needle first one is jamsidi suction needle the main disadvantage of suction needle is there there can be fragmentation of liver tissue second one is wim silverman cutting needle which is our today's topic of discussion the third one is true cut cutting needle now this cutting needle is having the more risk of bleeding during the procedure right and the fourth one is spring loaded cutting needle all right so in this diagram you can see that this is the needle along with its cannula and you can see that needle is bifid here the bifid or biflange needle is present to cut the liver tissue effectively that's why it is the bifid right so this is the wim silverman liver biopsy needle all right now which are the indications for performing the liver biopsy through this needle right why we perform the liver biopsy so basically there are 9 to 10 indication of liver biopsy first one most common is a chronic liver disease in which we want to identify the cause grading of inflammation and we want to stage want to do the staging of chronic hepatitis so the first indication is in the chronic hepatitis chronic liver disease second one is diagnosis of hemochromatosis in which the iron is getting accumulated in the liver all right the third important indication is diagnosis of wilson disease in which the copper is accumulated in the liver fourth one is for the diagnosis and grading of alcoholic liver disease all right the fifth is fifth indication is a staging of primary biliary cirrhosis or primary sclerosing cholangitis we want to do the staging in that case the sixth one is investigating procedure for the unexplained abnormal liver function test suppose you cannot identify the cause of abnormal liver function test then you want to do a liver biopsy the seventh one is investigation of pyrexia of unknown origin eighth case is diagnosis of tuberculosis of liver liver can be involved in tuberculosis as a miliary tuberculosis right 
The ninth one is investigating a liver growth or focal lesion in the liver. And tenth is the acute hepatitis of unknown etiology. It is not done for typical acute hepatitis. Right? All right. Now, which are the complications of doing the liver biopsy? So, first complication is pain in the liver. You can have pain in the liver after the procedure in the liver area, right? Second one is intraperitoneal hemorrhage. Especially, it is observed in cirrhosis and malignancy case. So, in such case, ideally, biopsy should not be done to avoid the hemorrhage. Third one is biliary peritonitis if your gallbladder is punctured. The fourth one is during the procedure, you can accidentally puncture a kidney, lung or colon if you are not well trained, right? All right. Now I will explain the method of percutaneous liver biopsy. How will you perform it? So the first step in taking the biopsy is the patient should be in the supine position. Ideal position is supine. Then you have to choose the site by ultrasonography or you can do the percussion of liver. But ideal way is to do the ultrasonography or CT scan guided biopsy. Third, you have to tell the patient to hold the breath in the expiration. And then biopsy is taken through the subcoastal or intercoastal route. So this diagram showing you how we can take a percutaneous liver biopsy. Here the needle is inserted through the skin and biopsy has been taken. All right. Now in the transjugular route of biopsy, we are inserting a catheter in catheter into the jugular vein of the neck and then radiologically it is advanced via the right atrium and then we will reach into the inferior vena cava and from inferior vena cava we will reach in the hepatic vein and finally into the liver. So in that way we are taking the biopsy. The main risk is of cardiac arrhythmia. So it is a very risky route transjugular. Right, but it is preferred route when the patient is having coagulation disorder in which you cannot perform percutaneous biopsy. Right, ultrasonography or CT guided biopsy are the best when you want to take a biopsy from the focal growth in the liver. All right, now which are the contraindications of liver biopsy in which you cannot perform the liver biopsy? Which are the contraindication? So first contraindication is extra hepatic biliary obstruction in which if you perform the biopsy dilated bile duct can be injured and you can have biliary peritonitis second is patient is having bleeding or coagulation problem then biopsy should be avoided if the patient is having prolonged prothrombin time history right then also biopsy is not advisable and the fourth contraindication is intense ascites because in ascites, it is very difficult to take the biopsy and there is a risk of bleeding in the ascites, right? Fifth one is hydrated cyst of liver because the puncture of hydrated cyst can lead to spread of cyst throughout the abdomen and sometimes anaphylactic reaction can happen. So avoid it in hydrated cyst. Sixth contraindication is the hemangioma or vascular tumor under suspicion because in the vascular tumor, you have the more risk of bleeding, right? The seventh one is amyloidosis in which you have the increased risk of bleeding. So that all are the contraindication of performing liver biopsy. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much guys. So like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I am uploading new videos.